Ragnet? What? When did you... But but the <laughs> ah! Hi everyone, it's Ketchy, aka OBGEM. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. We are back with another episode of Growing Up Genki. And I do apologize, it's been a minute since I put out an episode. I got into a recording, a spree with Not So Berry, and it's mostly because I've been trying to wrap that generation up, and it's been a whole lot of grinding I had to do with career and skill levels, so it, it took me away from growing up Genki for a little bit. I also was laying down some plans for where the storyline was going next, which required me to do a little bit of off-screen things. So there's that. And also what happened is in um, the last couple days, it's been, a, it's been a couple days, I actually bit my tongue in my sleep and it's been very uncomfortable to talk. It's actually better than it was the last couple days. Last couple days, it was impossible. I recorded an episode of Not So Berry, and that'll probably drop after this one, so it's like out of order. <laughs> but in that one, I mentioned how I'm in so much pain trying to talk, and I am still in a little bit of pain trying to talk, but it's just not as much as when I tried to record that over the weekend. It was a tough times, <laughs> but it made it so that it took even longer to get back to making an episode of this because I just I couldn't do it all my, my tongue was killing me but that is that aside we are back here with our girl Hana and she's over here trying to make some New Year's Day soba so our girl has zero cooking skills so I am curious to see how this is going to go but she's trying to butter up the Ito family because she is wanting to start a club at school and she is unsure whether they're going to go for it or not I'll see what the club is for when she actually reveals it to them at the table but regardless of how it goes she does want to go out um for New Year's and just kind of Get her mind together, get herself prepared for the school year because she will be starting at the boarding school with the new year, so it'll be a thing. <laughs> but we are just gonna let her go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and let her continue making her soba. Like I said, I'm a little bit scared. Our girl here might burn the kitchen down, but luckily the Ito family is rich and can afford to replace the stove as she messes up. So we shall see. I I, I don't even know if this is gonna be good quality. See, she just she just acquired the cooking skill, so <laughs> Oh girl, you may did not teach her how to cook before she left the house, so but she's hoping this will impress Megumi. She's like, look. Megumi is over here feeling like I need to find my place in the family. I need to butter them up. I need to kiss their feet. I need to kiss the ring. I'm not interested in really doing that, but I need something for them right now. So I will, you know, fake the funk <laughs> and do this. And hopefully, like my soba, I think it's going to be great. So I'm going to have her finish making that. Oh, she finished it. She didn't burn the house down. Let's check the quality. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's excellent quality. Are you what? <laughs> wow, so I guess when oh, are we okay here? Bruh. Are, are you okay, Hana? That face. Are you okay? I don't know if she took some performance enhancing drugs to get this excellent soba and it's getting to her. <laughs> but she's looking a bit funny here. What's going on? Oh, she's tired, so maybe that's what it is. And she's cold. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get physical. Yes, we will get to that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and blow uh, horns because it's New Year's Day with um Naoki and then she's gonna go ahead and call everybody to dinner because or to lunch really because the afternoon because um she wants to she wants to talk to everybody hopefully everyone's home I do believe they are but she's gonna go ahead and you know be all like happy happy new years oh look at her being very respectful with Naoki before she blows the horn <laughs> 
Is he gonna do it? It doesn't look like it. Cool over family. Okay, well, <laughs> go ahead, Hana. Go ahead and call them to this meal because we have things to do and you have things to ask them. So go ahead, call the household to the meal, my friend. I might actually have her fill Kage's bowl too because, oh wait, no, Kage's bowl is full. So we're good to go there. So she's called them all to the meal. Hopefully everybody, you know, gets started and, you know, is prepared to hear what she has to say. I hope she doesn't eat it too fast because I want them all to sit. I may stop her from eating or do something. Go ahead, sit down. So the whole family is going to sit down, have some soba. Hana, sit down, sit down, sit. I swear to goodness, if she does not sit at this table, I will be so annoyed. Sit at the table. Okay. Plan B. We're going to reset her object. Thank you. And then put it at the table and make her sit here. <laughs> I swear to goodness, these sims never do what I need for them to do. You're kidding. Ooh! Are you kidding right now? Are you kidding me? Why won't the soba go right in the center? Are you kidding? You're kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. I had to jump into build mode. This little plant thing was keeping me from putting anything at this spot at the table. So yeah, that was a thing, but it's okay. Go ahead, eat your Zara soba. And while she's at the table, she's going to actually, she's going to butter up Megumi because in her time here, she has understood that Megumi is the one who essentially holds the keys to the castle. She is the the one whose ring she needs to be kissing to get anything done here because everybody else in the household bends to Megumi's uh, will. So she's just going to butter up because she knows that, hey, if I get Megumi on my good side, then... I'll be able to get whatever I want, essentially, and everybody else will just go go along with it. So she's just gonna ask her, you know, some some normal things, butter her up, and then while she's doing that, she's gonna go ahead after that and say, "Look, we, uh, she's not even gonna say Megumi because that would be rude. She's gonna say Miss Ito. She's gonna say Mommy. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's gonna say Mother. <laughs> well, I have something to ask you." Miss Hana is like, I hope you guys enjoyed the soba that I made for you. I know today is a special day, it's New Year's, so I wanted to show you guys how grateful I am that you have invited me into your family and have like really embraced me and this is her just kind of laying on the sugar. <laughs> and so <laughs> they're all like, yeah, I mean, this soba is really good and you know, um, Kiyoshi's like, yeah, it, it, it reminds me of the soba mom used to make when we were really young. It was really good. And Megumi's all like, okay, you know, I guess it's okay. She's never going to admit that, you know, Hana's soba is anywhere close to as good as any type of soba she can make. She's like, I guess this, this'll do. <laughs> but everybody seems to be enjoying it. She's like, yeah, I'm so glad you guys are really enjoying it. I really wanted today to be special, and so Megumi is just like, well, I, I just appreciate that you are really trying to contribute, finally. I mean, you know, better late than never, I guess. And, she, you know, Hana's going to take that backhanded insult. She's like, I'm not going to address that because I have things I want to, you know, get. So she's like, Megumi, actually, I wanted to talk to you in particular. There's something I wanted to discuss with you. And she's like, what, what is it that you wanted to ask? And she's like, well, zip it down, sit back down. <laughs> I need you to sit down for this conversation. What you doing? New Year's Eve toast? Who is giving a toast? Oh, now, Key, this is like the worst moment for this. I'm trying to have her sit and, and talk to Megumi, but sure. It looks like now Key wanted to toast. He's like, honestly, in commemoration of, in commemoration of 
Hana coming into our house and making us this beautiful New Year's lunch. I just wanted to, you know, give a toast to her. Here's to Hana, you know, my my son's future wife. And Hana's like, yes, I do appreciate that, Mr. Ito. But I do still want to talk with Megumi real quick. So Hana finally got Megumi alone to talk with her through a whole lot of effort. You guys do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's like, you know, thank you so much for, you know, really enjoying the meal I put together. Megumi, that means a lot to me because I know you have the best taste in the house. And Megumi already knows that she's trying to butter her up. She's all like, well, thank you. But it, I'm getting the impression that she wants something. And she's like, well, now that you mention it, you know, that amazing private school that you guys sent me to. And you know that she's kind of buttering up because, you know, she would never say that. <laughs> Normally, she liked the old school that she was going to, but, you know, buttering her up. So she's like, the amazing private school you're sending me to, you know, I looked into it and it seemed so incredible. And quite honestly, I, I'm so impressed by it that I want to kind of join an activity while I'm there. And she's all like, oh, you don't say what type of activity. She's like, well, you know, I've always been such a fan of, you know, extreme sports. And, um... Although I don't think I'd ever be as good at skiing or snowboarding as you and Kiyoshi, I do want to join a club that will allow me to kind of be out in the wilderness and doing outdoor activities. So I was thinking maybe I might, you know, join a club or start a club like that at my new school. And so making me so like, I mean, as, as interesting as that sounds, I don't know that that's actually really that good of an idea like i we want you to be focused on no <laughs> oh no, stop oh she's oh okay so she's she's giving her a gift to kind of put her up for this she's like look hold that thought i i did want to give you a little bit of something just to commemorate you know m me being so thankful that we're part i'm a part of the family now so you know happy new years it makes me like oh you know how thoughtful and so Hannah's like, so now that you have this gift for me and you were saying, <laughs> and she's like, look, I appreciate the gift. I, I really see now that you're trying to, you know, find your place in this family. I'm a little bit less unimpressed than I was when you first joined our family because, you know, you really were very, you know, tactless and didn't have a whole lot of cooth about you and how you approach this family. And it's important that you know that. But I do see this as a good effort. You know, this is a good start, a good try and whatnot. But quite honestly, I honestly still don't think it's a good idea for you to join any such club, like an outdoor activities. All of that sounds like a huge distraction for what you are here to do you're here to be kiyoshi's fiance and to learn how to be a good wife so i mean that soba you made for us today was was pretty good and decent and that's a good start but i think maybe you coming back home after school and and you know learning a little bit more about how to upkeep a house how, how to make meals and whatnot maybe you know a better use of your time and so that's obviously not what hana wanted to hear so She's going to probably try hard, be a little bit more puppy and say, Hey, I hear you, but, you know, I think maybe I should still be able to, you know, join some sort of club or activity. And so I think maybe the outdoor activity may be the way to go. And, you know, Megumi's all like, I, I still don't see it. And she's like, well, I mean, it's at this point like a family trade for, you know, the Itos to be good at outdoor activities like skiing and snowboarding. So would I not just be following in the family's footsteps? And Megumi's like, look, that is actually more of Kiyoshi's lot in life. He's going to follow directly in my footsteps as my son you know no offense Hana but you were just going to be marrying into the family it's not really you know it's not really your trade to be you know taking over or you know following in the footsteps of so it doesn't really apply to you however if you are so dead set on joining an after school club what is a tradition in the Ito family is that one person is a star and the other is a support and the support is in business. 
So maybe it may be a good idea for you to join a cram school that take place, takes place after school. That way it'll help you keep your grades up. And then, you know, we're not really thinking that we want for you to go on to university, but you know, on the off chance that, you know, you show some talent in business, maybe that's something that will help you get into a university where you can get a degree in business. And that way you can support Kiyoshi that way. But in the meantime, if you are really dead set on joining an activity, you have our blessing to join a cram school. So that's not really what Hana wanted to hear. She's a little bit irritated. She's not showing it on her face because, you know, she's already on the lookout for not getting on Megumi's bad side because she doesn't want anything bad to happen to her and her family. She's like thinking, yeah, cram school, that might work, <laughs> but it's not really what she wants to do at all. She's really kind of bummed and... She's actually going to go ahead and go for a jog now because she needs to clear her mind. This is kind of bad news. She didn't. This is what she anticipated. She's going to jog to clear her mind. This is not what she anticipated what would, would be happening. So she's just going to feign excitement. And Mayumi's all like, I, I'm sure cram school will work really well for you. And it'll kind of, I think, help you gain some class about you that you really are lacking you know you do come from a lower class family so that's important for you to have that you may why are you here bruh <laughs> girl <laughs> you may and honey what's going on with your face you've got some deep lines going on there oh, you may what's going on with you i guess you may decided to visit she, you know, at the end of the last episode, I, we did say that, you know, Hana agreed to, to visit with her mom more. So maybe you may took that conversation to mean that, hey, maybe I should just, you know, consider dropping by, you know, and, and seeing her every so often. But, you know, it's kind of bad timing because Hana's about to go for a jog. So I look at her having some of the soba her daughter made. I wonder if she knows that, that I wonder if she knows that, that Hana made that. <laughs> who knows but she's gonna go for a jog to clear her mind she's kind of really irritated because she anticipated that the conversation with with Amigumi would turn out differently that she'd butter up and she'd say yes to the club and she thought that maybe you know Megumi would be glad to have her out of her hair because they haven't been getting along but Alas, this is going to be trickier than she thought. So she's like, look, she didn't say yes to me joining the club I wanted, but she did say yes to me joining a club. So what if I just joined a cram school, quote unquote cram school, and tell them I joined a cram school when really I'm just going to do the club I want to do. It's not like they're going to actually come to the school and check up on me. The, the The boarding school is in Windenburg, so how often are they actually going to go and see? So in Hannah's mind, she's like, look, what if I just do this my way and just keep it secret? And then they don't have to know. And then I can still get what I want. And then if they ask me where I've been after school, I'll just tell them I'm at a cram school. They'll never know. So that is, <laughs> that is Hannah's, Hannah's uh, you know, this, that's what she's going to do. And in the meantime, she's going to stay friendly with the Itos and, you know, stay on their good side. But, you know, who knows how this is going to turn out. Hopefully this turns out fine for her. But she's like, look, I'll play along. I'll play nice. But... At the end of the day, I still want to do what I want to do, which is this club. It's the only bit of happiness I'm going to have, you know, while I'm in this household having to play fiance for, for this guy that I'm not into like that. So, you know, in the meantime, we're going to do things this way. We're going to do things this way. And she's pumped. Look at her. <laughs> she is absolutely pumped. Doing some bunny hops. Cute. So she's just going to go ahead then and just enjoy the rest of New Year's with the Ito family. And when she starts school on, you know, New Year's, what is it, the day after New Year's? I was about to say New Year's Day, but it, yeah, I guess New Year's Day because it's New Year's Eve. But <laughs> anyway, when she starts school on New Year's Day, she is going to 
to do exactly what she anticipates. She's going to start this club. She's going to, you know, keep it secret from the Ito family. And is this a good idea or not? Time will tell. But Hana is sold on doing this this way. And, you know, hopefully it turns out good for her. We're going to go ahead and play out the rest of this New Year's Day. And I will catch you guys after her school tomorrow. Pregnant? What? When did you? But but the uh, ah! who? Huh? Pregnant? She can't be. Okay, she's not. Yes, yes. You don't scare me like this. I thought she was for real pregnant. And why are you thinking about a rattle, girl? Don't do this. So we are at New Year's Day now, and I actually forgot New Year's Day is Sunday right now, so it's not actually the first day of school, but this is the, the day that, you know, you can go over to the school and get club activities in order. So Hannah decided to ride out to Windenburg and go ahead and get her club off the ground. So she did go ahead and put together the Young Adventurers Club. She went and, you know, while she was at the activities fair on the Sunday, she kind of like put some word out that she was interested in starting this club. And she got some people who were interested in being it with her. So this is her. She is at the local gym because the, the boarding school does not actually have a, a gym facility on it. So they do have to go out and go to the gym in Lindenburg to do some of their club activities, just working out. Anna is <laughs> really still trying to get a hang of this, but she's over here practicing climbing because one of the ultimate goals for her Young Adventurers Club is that she does want to do what she's wanted to do since she was a little girl, which is climb the mountain in Mount Komarebi. So it seems as though it's been a minute since I even talked about that and you guys probably thought we weren't going to do it and you know that it was you know something that wasn't going to be a part of this uh, let's play but it is you know we are doing this pack one thing at a time focusing on story and having the elements of this pack come about through story and we have finally got to the point now where it is part of the story. So. I did go ahead and have her put together her club and as you can see these are all the current members of her club these are all different sorts of people and I will get to their backstories just not in this episode just because we already had a whole lot happen in this episode but um they all have their own backstories we will get into that and they all have their reasons for joining this club they're all different reasons but i did go ahead and have her meet them and, and add them to the club i did start a gathering so they're all around here somewhere let me see if i can find them. okay so here's one of our club members right here this is Sine. Sine. I think is how you pronounce it. If it's wrong, I apologize. All of these are sims I got off of the gallery and gave make, uh, makeovers. And I didn't really change a lot of their names. I thought her name was pretty unique, so I wanted to keep it. But if I'm not saying it right and somebody else in the comments knows how to properly say the name, please let me know. But I kind of looked it up to see what they the different pronunciations were. And I think the common one that kept coming on was Sine. So if that's not wrong, uh, right, like I said, just let me know in the comments. I'm sorry. This over here is Zachary Chestnut. And this over here is Zaria Glenn. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not going to get into the backstories yet. But I did want to mention that Zaria is actually the daughter of the chairman of the boarding school. He's the one who kind of, you know, re revitalized the boarding school so that it can be in attendance now. So she's kind of a big deal. She's from a prominent family. She is pretty wealthy. So those are just a few of them. I don't know where everybody else is. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> but like I said, we'll get into that in, in the next episode. Oh, it looks like <laughs> it looks like Hana gave up on the, the wall. She wanted to give it a break and try some basketball. But she's like, look, I will conquer that wall eventually. I will get to it. Oh, here's, is this another one of our club members? Oh, yeah, it is. So this is... Um, this is... Stop moving. <laughs> Adrian Romero. And this is another club member. This is Aya Kawasaki. 
So it looks like Adrian. Am I saying his name? Is it Adrian or is Aiden? <laughs> It, it looks like Adrian is a bit better at the wall than Hannah was. And it looks like Aya is doing pretty well too. So it'll be interesting to see what this is going to look like when they finally do their expedition. But like as it stands, did, I, did we introduce ourselves to this one too? He's another club member. This is Colton Bartley, who I didn't even realize is a global superstar. <laughs> Okay, come through, global global superstar. Hi. <laughs> anyway, um, so those are those. Are, I think that's all of them. I think we met all but one of them. Oh, <laughs> it looks like Anna needs to um, pee. I don't know when she put this face mask on, but don't worry about that. But those are our club members so far. I will introduce you to the last club member in the next episode. But Hana is really jazzed, even though she needs to pee right now. You can't really tell by the look on her face. But she's really jazzed <laughs> about starting this club and um, finally really working towards her goal of climbing the mountain and Mount Komarebi. I'm really excited to see how this plays out. In the next couple episodes, we're going to see her bond with her club members and there's going to be a whole new crop of drama coming from this new group of friends. I'm so excited to finally got, get to the teen the, the, the teen friend club group arc of this whole thing and I hope you guys are excited for it too. Let me know in, your, in, the, in the comment section down below what are your initial thoughts of the club members we met so far even though you just guys just saw them and, and, and heard their names do you have any impressions of what they're gonna be like and how they're gonna interact with with Hana let me know in the comment section down below I would love to hear and also do you think that Megumi's gonna find out that Hana went against her her wishes and started a different group and did not join cram school and is doing this let me know in, in, in the comment section down below i would love to hear it as always guys stay safe stay healthy and of course stay dazzled i will see you in the next one bye